Hi everyone, today I will be talking about the four functions of management. What are the four functions of management? Well, they are planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. So, you may be asking yourself why you need to know the four functions of management. Well, we are all currently going to school to pursue a certain career. And every career field has managers and supervisors. We will eventually become managers and supervisors. The four functions of management were created so that managers and supervisors can run their organizations successfully. Whether it's a large one like Amazon or a small mom and pop's restaurant, the four functions of management work. So, I am no expert in this subject, but I do know enough to inform you on it. Last semester, I took a management of organizations class where I wrote a six page essay on the four functions of management. And the book did involve these four functions. This semester, I am taking a supervisory techniques class where, surprise, the four functions of management appeared again. So I know enough to tell you. And here it goes. Um, I'm going to start off by giving you a little bit of history of the four functions of management. In the early 19th century, a man named Henry Foyle was an engineer and a mining expert. Henry Foyle climbed the ladder in this business and eventually oversaw over a thousand employees in the mining business. Um, in 1916, he wrote a book, General and Industrial Management, which involved these four functions of management. Henry Foyle is known as the father of management. These four functions are still currently used today and are still being taught to business students everywhere. A little fun fact about these four functions of management is that they were originally the five functions of management. Yeah, um, it used to involve coordinating, but over time it was thrown out and now we just go with the four functions of management. So let's get started. The first function of management is planning. You cannot do anything without planning. When you're trying to go out on a Saturday, you have to plan on who's going to drive, what you're going to wear, where you are going, if you're going anywhere afterwards. And managing a business is somewhat like that, except you think about business questions. When planning, you have to set a goal. What are you trying to achieve? And how are you going to achieve your goal? Are you trying to raise morale? Are you trying to increase business sales? Are you trying to beat your competitor? What is it that you want to do? If you do not think about what you want to achieve, then it's, it's pointless. You have to come up with a goal. After you have set your goal and decided how you are going to achieve it, you move on to your second function, which is organizing. Now, what is organizing? Organizing is where people are told what to do, where to do it, and who to work for, who works for whom. Um, in this function, you will take into consideration people's skills. What are they good at? You would not place someone who is unskilled in construction to do construction. It just doesn't work that way. You have to take advantage of them. Here too. Um, in this function, you also gather your materials. How and what do you need to achieve the goal you have set for your organization to run? 
Do you have the charts needed? Do you have the data to back it up? That's basically the organization, organize, organizing function. Um, just using the people you have and putting them to work to achieve your goal or the organization's goal, I should say. The next function is the leading function. In this leading function is where you motivate the people you have assigned to achieve certain tasks. If they are not motivated to achieve the tasks that they were assigned that will help achieve the goal you set for your organization, things can go very bad. You as a manager or supervisor have to encourage your employees to want to increase sales, to increase morale, to beat the competitors. Without motivation, their work is just going to lag. They would see no purpose in what they are doing. They would think, I'm just here to do my job and go home. They will not care. Motivating is a big factor when trying to achieve a goal. As a manager, you want to tell your people, this is why we want to achieve this goal. And some people may not buy it, but you can use other factors as motivators like rewards. You know, you can give them time off or, you know, monetary values or vacations or t-shirts. You can use anything as a motivator, ethically. Um, so that is the point of the leading function. The next one is controlling. Controlling is basically overseeing all the other functions, you know. It, are you guys achieving your goal? Are people doing what they are supposed to be doing? Are they motivated to do? what they are supposed to be doing. And in controlling, you also make changes when necessary. Say your goal was to increase the sales and it's not working at all. The plan you made up is completely falling apart. In your controlling function is where you make the changes. Where in your plan did it start to fall apart? And at that point, you can make changes. Those are the four functions of management. It is planning, organizing, leading, and control. First, you got a plan. Set an objective. And how are you going to achieve this objective? Next is organizing. Assign people to do what they can do and get your materials. Third is leading. Motivate your employees to do what they have to do. Encourage them to wanting to achieve your goal or the organization's goal. And last is controlling. Oversee the entire plan. Is it working? And if it's not, make changes. The four functions of management were created to help organizations succeed. And the four functions of management have proven to work. I believe if everyone follows these four functions of management, they will be great managers, the organization will be successful, and everyone will be happy. Thank you for watching my video.